this is Stephanie and again you've made your way to my channel Saving with Stephanie J. Well I have got me another Grove box that come in. I'm so excited some of the newer things come in and it came in several days ago and I've not been able to film this but I have got you covered now. Are you ready? <clears throat> Alright got a pretty good size box and let me tell you what I wish Grove could package and do all of my um, holiday needs because let me tell you what, these people are the packing kings and queens. It always looks so nice and knock on wood. I've never had anything broken because they, 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 they do a good job. Okay, one of the first things that I'm going to pull out of here is some hand cream. And you know I get this about every time. It's the bergamot orange with moisturizing coconut and rose hip oil. Well, I really, 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 really like this. reason is it's not too strong. And, you know, since I'm a nurse, all I do is wash my hands, wash my hands, wash my hands, uh, sanitizer, 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 and just, you know, just every once in a while I gotta have some moisture on these dry hands that are now looking like they're, they're just old, like, just old, like, ugh. But anyway, that is all right. I really like this cream because it's got a nice... Okay, I don't know what a bergamot orange smells like, but I know what an orange smells like. And this has got a really nice orangey, very light coconutty scent. It's not one of those that you're gonna go, ooh, you've 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 got suntan oil or you've you know something like that. No, um, but you're I think you're gonna like this. Give it a try, and it's two ounces. Um, fits real good in the purse. Love that. That's always in my nursing. Uh, pocket. I don't use it very often because, you know, I don't want lotion on top of, it's a long story, but I'm a nurse. Anyway, now, <clears throat> talk about this. It was time for the Rose Collection, you know, it comes out in the summer, to come out, and I'm really excited. You know, funny thing, Rose is like a really controversial scent. Either you love it, or you hate it. I know some people um, that absolutely will just be like, eh, eh. like it's a rose smell. And then I know some people that don't like it because they say it smells like a funeral home. Well, Mrs. Meyer, I really like their their rose scents. And this is the um, hand soap. And it, it doesn't smell like one of those weird candles that you're like, you know what I mean? It, it's not that strange rose smell if that I know, I know that don't make any sense but it's 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 got a nice rose smell to it i mean i really like it and i can't wait to start using it tell you what oh mm. i also got me something from caldre it's pear blossom agave it's linen and room spray now this whoops whoops Kind of spit there. That was my fault. Ooh, of course, I've got fans on in here. This has got such a nice light scent to it. Absolutely love it. It's um, it's not one of those like I say, a candle, you know, pear artificial. It's like a summery scent, light summer. That probably don't make any sense, but those of you that know what I'm talking about, you 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 get it. Okay, keep going. I also got the Peony. This is in Mrs. Meyer. This is the multi-surface cleaner. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to say, <clears throat> if y'all know me or don't know me, I have, I had asthma as a child and now I have asthma as an adult. In the middle of my life, it was pretty good, but mm. And I do some really heavy editing here where when I go into coffin fits or my voice sounds real horrible, you really can't tell um, how bad of asthma that I have. But I do. And so I have gotten into the last year that uh, if I push mow my yard, I can't even the next day, I mean, I'm, I'm sick. <clears throat> if... Um, or if I really like clean my house really heavy and use a lot of cleaners, especially like in my bathroom, next day, mm -mm, sick. And I, 
I really love Mrs. Meyer's stuff. I'm not saying that it's going to cure asthma. It's not, I'm not going to say it's going to make your asthma any better. But I will say that it has helped mine. And not flare it up as much as what I mean. Not like helping it medically. It just doesn't flare up like it does when um, I'm using. So you can hear my voice going now. Because I've been talking. It uh, it really, it, I, I can really clean my house and be able to use cleaners and stuff and it not be bad. I got the Peony and this is the dish soap. This does not have, it's made with uh, plant derived cleaning ingredients, essential oils, aloe vera extract and glycerin. There you go. It does not made with uh, parabens, phthalates, uh, DEA, NEA or artificial colors. I'm just saying that it really, to me, it has made, it has been a game changer. Um, Y'all know I keep on and I have enough cleaning products downstairs that I could clean the White House. But, I, I, I a lot of it I really can't use. Um, I also got, now look at this big mama. This is the um, a tub and tile. I'm, this is my second time getting this, and let me tell you, I love this, and it's in the lavender scent. Now, I'm not dumb enough to, like, stick my nose up and, like, sniff it like I would um, a dish soap or hand soap, but it's made without the same things. See, right, can you, can you, can you see? It's made with this and without that. See if you can get a little closer. Get a little closer. Maybe, maybe not. I can actually use this um <clears throat> i don't open my windows here at the house because the pollen gets in so i don't it's not like i can open the windows when i'm cleaning my bathroom and scrubbing it real good because i can't have the pollen in the house and then sleep you know with pollen in the house i have too many air purifiers and stuff like that but i, I can't do that and so i can use this and what you do is you just i i you know, I, I put it on my tub and tile and walk away, come back, kind of give it a little wipe. And I do that every time either I get out of the shower. Just saying. And I also got, this is the Method Laundry Detergent. This is in the Ginger Mango. I am so excited on this. This will be my first time using this. And let's see what it smells like. I'm pretty sure that I've smelled it someplace like Target or somewhere. Okay, we're going to do this. Please, Lord, don't let that soap squirt in my mouth. Mmm. That smells so good. It almost makes me want to go do laundry. Almost. I also got the beads to go with it. Aha, uh -huh, the fragrance booster beads. Now, y'all know that I am a gain girl. I love gain. I dearly, dearly, dearly love it. But <clears throat> at this time of year, when my asthma and all this pollen and sinuses and everything flare up, I have a hard time using it. And so I'm really excited to try this because this is... Um, Leaves a nice fresh scent, safe for all colors and fabrics, dissolves completely. And so you're supposed to do a, like you turn it like this and pour it in. Oh, goodness, that smells good. That would be something that you could take, like if you had an old pair of, uh, like an old pair of socks or something, like thin, thin, thin socks. Pour just a little bit out in that thin socks and take the sock and like knot the end of it up or take a hair twisty, let in your underwear drawer. Yeah, I said underwear. Mm-hmm. I said it. Here on YouTube. It might demonetize me. I don't know. I also got some walnut and cellulose scrubbing sponges. Now, I, you know, I know that there are hacks and tricks and everything for cleaning your sponge. You can put it in the dishwasher. You can put it in the moist and put it in the microwave. You can do all kinds of things to it. And every once in a while, I do do those things. But I, I take these and... I, I use them for just a little bit, and then I throw them away. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> and it's and I mainly use it for my uh, uh, glass um, cook stove top. See? 
and I really like that. You got the soft side and then the scrubby side, but the scrubby side isn't one of those, you know, that you want to take the top layer of whatever off. It, 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 it's, it's, it's good enough that it works well. I also got some rose dish soap, but I can't decide. Let me down know down below. Should I, and I have this on my, um, uh, down on my, um, on my stove, like a little, um, caddy from, um, the Grove Collaborative, and so I put out my set. Should I go with Rose first, or should I go with Peony? You hear Lola? Mm. She is just so crazy. Then, I got two other things. One, is another, oops, let's see if I can open it real easy. This is another bubble up brush set. Let me show what it comes with. Now this right here, can you hear? It's scratchy. Like a, you know, a dish, it's a dish brush. Okay, and it comes like this. And it's their, um, you know, their rose for, you know, for summer. Look, and it comes with a little, um, a glass ceramic dish. And then it's got this little doodiggy in it. See that? And that's, and see it does, see? So what you do is you put this in here. Okay. Then you fill it about, uh, I fill mine just, just a little bit with dish liquid. You know, peony, rose, one of the good scents. Mums, I love mum's scent. And, <clears throat> and put it about like this. Then you take this there and you sit it on the back of your sink when you're ready to do um, your dishes you know you've got them in the sink however give it one of these see so you can kind of press down it cause you know what I mean and that kind of does and scrub your dishes now I find that I use a heck of a lot less dish liquid because you know I'm, I'm I'm from the old school I would you know I'd, I'd um, you know I've got a dishwasher but I'm still in that thing that I have to wash my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher I, I just don't know why <clears throat> I, maybe I can hear my mom talking to me if I don't and I would <clears throat> you know in in my you know the side of the sink that I was washing my dishes on and girl, I was going, I was going through a heck of a lot of dish liquid. Of course, I keep on, which that is fine. I, I, I can afford to go through a lot, but it was wasteful. Until I found Grove and done this, and you just do this, and then you scrub your dishes, rinse it off, put it back. You have used so little. I don't go through hardly any um, compared to what I went through several, well, I guess about a year ago. Isn't that cute? And see, it's very small. So here's the palm of my hand. Let's do this. There. There's a palm of my hand. You can see how big it is. It's not big. It's got nice. And that's like a wooden um, top. It's very nice. It's got the Grove emblem on it. But it's not too commercial. Does that make sense? I really, really like it. And so I'm debating. You know I like pink. But I'm debating on whether... To give this rose colored one to somebody or not. I do not know, Sam I am. But I will definitely be putting it back in the box. That little silicone thing. I call them Satan's things. Um and I'm not I I'm just saying, I you know, if it was Mother's Day or something like this, and somebody got me some, you know, I see that's got a light pink color to it, the box. And somebody got me something like this, I'd be like, oh, that's, that's cute. But now the last thing. Look what I got. Now. I just had to get this because if y'all don't know me, I absolutely am just nuts over pink stuff. Nuts. And so this is like the little caddy that you use you know that you can take that you can take your stuff like um i've got one sitting downstairs but it's not this color it's white that you you know that i keep like my 
uh, extra stuff in, my cleaning stuff. Um, I'm going to put this one in my bathroom because let me show you what I'm going to do with it. Do with it. Hang on, let me cut the tag off. Come on, I will do it like this and then I'll take my tub and tile cleaner and I will put in there and let's see. Or I could either do that and then put some more cleaners in there or I could do this and put my, and see so you could carry that around with you like from room to room. Or you could put your laundry stuff in there and sit it out in your laundry room. Or, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. Now, think about this as a cute little present. You could put a couple of things in here along with that little soap scrubbery thing. What a cute present. Well, I guess if you're going to do that, and this is pink and the soap scrubber thing is pink, you could do, put pink stuff in there if that made sense. Because you got to be aesthetically pleasing and make everything match. But would, would that make you, whoops, not got it quite full. Wouldn't that make you happy going around with your little tin, your little tin pail cleaning? I know it does me. It brings a smile to my face. And it just does. Well, that is it for my Grove Collaborative. If you've not heard about Grove, um, you can, um, the first time that you order through them, I think if you place a $20 order, you get five free pieces. Um, and it kind of changes from time to time, but I think one of them is a bucket. Just saying. Um, and I really like it. I will leave my in the description below. I will leave the link down below if you use my link. I really like it. And if you have asthma or any respiratory issues or anybody in your family does, maybe, maybe, it would be worth trying it one time. Just see. Just see. And just see what you think about it. Lola's down here snoozing. Alrighty. Alrighty. We will see you later. Alright. Description something. Alright. Be sure to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Alright. Talk to y'all later. Bye.